Each and every year, tropical storms bear down on the coasts, bringing rain, wind, and waves in from the ocean. But unlike most natural disasters, these hurricanes all get their very own name. What's that about? Why do hurricanes get names? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. Every year around the end of the summer, hurricane season starts in the U.S. when huge tropical storms start to pop up. These massive storms are rated on a scale from 1 to 5, 1 being the weakest type of hurricane and 5 being the most severe and dangerous. But even a Category 1 hurricane, the smallest kind, has winds between 74 and 95 miles per hour. Any storm that's Category 3, 4, or 5 is considered a major hurricane that's likely to cause damage to buildings and the environment. Category 5 hurricanes happen whenever the wind is blowing at more than 157 miles per hour. That is very dangerously windy. Buildings, roofs, trees, and power poles are all at risk of being severely damaged when the wind is whipping around that fast. Part of what makes a hurricane so dangerous is that unlike other natural disasters like an earthquake or a tornado, a hurricane can last for a long time, sometimes longer than a week. That's because hurricanes are huge weather systems that move pretty slowly, only about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Creeping along slowly means the rain, waves, and wind all have plenty of time to damage whatever it's passing through. Hurricanes only develop over warm water that's 80 degrees Fahrenheit or above. When the warm, wet air over the tropical water rises, it's replaced by cooler air from above. That new cooler air will then start to warm up and rise, being replaced by new cool air again. When this cycle is repeated over and over again, huge storm clouds eventually start to form. These clouds start to spin with the rotation of the planet and get bigger, while wind speeds increase, only causing the cycle to happen faster and eventually forming a fully-fledged hurricane. Nowadays, Hurricanes are each given their own individual name for one simple reason. It makes it much easier for meteorologists to track and identify each hurricane forming. Since there's often multiple hurricanes forming at any one time, sometimes in the same area of the ocean, naming them simply makes things less confusing. Since 1979, the names have been picked by the World Meteorological Organization, who use six lists of male and female names to choose from. The lists have a name for each letter of the alphabet, except for Q, U, and Z. So, next time the power goes out and you're hunkered down safely during a storm, well, at least you know you can bust out this semi-useless fact to pass the time when you're bored.